Greetings, everyone. My name is Daniela Lee, and I'm Program Coordinator um, for the Occupational Health, Safety, and Wellness Program here at Conestoga College. Um, it is my pleasure um, to uh, be here with you today to review some of the key highlights of this program with you here today. I have a brief presentation that I'd like to share with you and um, walk you through that. Uh, let's just do... So occupational health, safety, and wellness. There we go. Um, so what are you, why are you thinking about health and safety? Well, what is it exactly? <coughs> occupational health and safety has always been an essential requirement for organizations based on laws and regulations. Um, and managing injuries and illnesses in workplaces that can occur. Um, but even more so, given the current um, climate that we're in and the current global health crisis um, that we're experiencing, um, you cannot um, avoid health and safety now on the uh, internet or even on online in the news. You're hearing health and safety being used every time you open up the TV um, and the news. And while though, although it's very trying and difficult times that we're experiencing right now, Health and safety professionals are uh, being called upon for their knowledge and expertise um, across the globe to help either give directives and policies for employers to assist companies and employees that are working, or also to help companies as they start to resume business operations. Our students here at Conestoga are well equipped um, with the knowledge and expertise that they have to um, carry on some of these uh, very important uh, works that that's happening right now globally. So about the program, I wanted to review. Um, it's designed to provide students with a solid foundation in how occupational health, safety and wellness initiatives can be developed and implemented in organizations. Um, students, they uh, research and analyze existing health and safety and wellness trends. Um, things that are going on globally and locally um, and research and develop programs and how to mitigate risk for companies um, in the areas of health, safety and wellness. So to give you an overview in terms of the program and the program design, this program complies with the uh, CRST um, designation, which is the Canadian Registered State Safety Technician Requirements. Um, so that is a professional designation that this program does comply with. It is a one year um, uh, post-grad certificate program, which means that if you have a degree already or a three-year diploma, you can qualify to apply um, for the program. And it's set up in terms of two semesters. So you have a two-semester program um, with 15 weeks each semester. Just to give you an overview of um, some of the um, course offerings uh, that we have in the program, you will see in semester one, just to give you an example, you have there a couple of uh, human resources courses in organizational effectiveness and conflict resolution. We find quite often in organizations, health and safety resides in the human resource department or plays a very uh, key role in human resources. Um, there's also some basic, uh, obviously, legislation in semester one. It's key foundational work in terms of learning the laws, regulations, standards that govern occupational health and safety in workplaces, uh, program design and evaluation in terms of how to develop um, and design programs for effectiveness in workplaces, the first level consulting proposal, which I'll talk to about in a minute, and workplace health promotion. In semester two, you go into more applied um, information, in-depth disciplines like emergency management, applied safety fundamentals, ergonomics, uh, the second half of the consulting capstone project, some disability management, as well as return to work program. And in referring to the capstone project, I find that this is an exciting um, and probably the most real uh, part of the program where uh, students can apply their learnings um, and the, the coursework that they have learned uh, in their program and apply it to a real life uh, workplace in semester one 
in groups. The students um, actually design a project proposal. So they actually have to find a client and then um, uh, assess the needs and develop a proposal for a project with deliverables and a timeline. And in semester two, that same group is working with that client and actually implementing the deliverables. So that's a very exciting, all the students enjoy that practical application of applying the health and safety um, knowledge that they've learned in an actual um, setting. This program is a um, BYOD program, Bring Your Own Device, which requires that and is mandatory that uh, each student has their own uh, access to their own laptop. And it is designed as an e-text program. So all of your textbooks and course materials are all online. Um, there's activities, there's graded work that must be done online in, with, with the tools. So it is a requirement that students bring their own laptops and have that available to them to be able to access the requirements um, of the program requirements that are there. So in terms of career opportunities, as I said at the onset, it's a very um, interesting time for health and safety professionals. We're being called upon in all industries. Um, we always have the nice thing about health and safety, I know, is that it transcends every industry, uh, whether you're in healthcare, high tech, manufacturing, warehousing, um, basically every industry is touched by health and safety. Um, and health and safety is very important for employees to work productively. Um, so there's all kinds of career opportunities in um, private sector learning institutions, government departments, as well as um, different uh, disciplines like health and safety coordinators, health promotion consultant and wellness program management, Ministry of Labor, emergency management coordinator. I'm actually seeing a lot of postings for that right now and WSIB return to work case specialists or case workers. So opportunities are really, um, there's a lot of opportunities out there right now for uh, careers in occupational health, safety and wellness. So I wanna thank you for your time and I hope that this presentation um, was helpful in your decision to choose occupational health and safety at Conestoga College. So be safe and stay healthy, thank you.